Yes, we have later on the two minutes to go. Thank you for trying to appreciate that. Yeah. 
All right, and then we combine the numbers plus four. All right, listen up, guys. So we're going back to Christian again. Yeah. Now what? All right. Why did you subtract? To get the length. To get the length. So it's like you have something with four shapes. They've given you two of the sides and something with four sides. You already know the two sides and you're trying to find the other two, but you know the total. So you subtract. All right, let's subtract. What do we get? Uh huh. Plus six. What happened to this? Two? Uh, all right. So now, is that the side? So we just take the forward square and put it right here. Why not? Why? So that's for these two missing sides, okay? So if you want just one of the sides, divide by two. All right, you following that? So it's like yeah, five where you want. That's a zero means I have no idea. Five means I'm great. One number you put four. All right. Now, so when we divide by two, two we got two y square square plus three. Plus three. All right. And now, if you go back here, you can just. Put two y squared plus three, and you can put the seven. And you can check too. And I just say, yeah, we don't want to do that. But yeah, I mean that's the smart way to think about problems. So that way you don't have to be like, oh, Mr. Musa, is that right? You know how to figure out whether it's right or wrong. So use it. See now we're becoming independent learners. Do you have an exercise? No, I mean it's just a short. But probably maybe the second half when we continue the reform. Yeah. All right. Now again, I'm interested in the how. How? How? Take thirty seconds, guys. And I know you two have been thinking about it, so I want to hear where you are once we come back together. You have to read the instruction carefully so you know what to do. I just do one, but I don't want to just do one. I want you to tell me how to do it first. I want you to think with me. Because once I do one, you guys can do the rest because I've already shown you how to do it. <laughs> All right. Um, anybody wants to just share with me what they think then about how to do this? We're going to use that formula. What formula? The big shape. Yes. Yeah, so they've given you that. Okay. Did I did that. You said no to it. I don't want the shaded part. Unless. What do you want you to find? The shaded part. What of the shaded part? The area. That's the key. The area. There you go. And that's what was, you guys were missing there. Because you guys were doing perimeter. Or you just added it, you just multiplied it in the wrong way. So let's analyze it. All right, so let's start with the square. What do we know about squares? They have the same size. Same size, all right? Shout it out. Now, so, what's the length of one of the sides? Eight. Eight, so I put eight here. So that means this will be what? Eight. How about this? Eight. How about that? All right? So that's the square. So let's find the area of the square. 
Now, how do you find area of a square? Uh, you can either multiply it. Multiply two sides. Multiply two sides. Multiply two sides. Four. All right. Huh? Multiply two sides. Where is the base? On? So let's just take a pause. Amara, how do you find area of the square? Nine hundred. I don't know. How do you find uh, Martin? Uh, Mary, how do you find the area of a square? Huh? What? Length times height. Oh, length times one. All right. Thank you. So now these are all the length. These are the same as the width. So multiply these two of them. So eight times eight will give you what? Sixty-four. Right? Okay, so now we're done with what? The squad. Let's change the color. Okay. I can. <laughs> All right, so now we are at the triangle. What's the base of the triangle? Four. What do we put down? Right here. Right there. And then the height? Three. Three. Put it here. Okay, now the next question is this. How do we find the area okay. of a triangle? One half times base on time. There you go. So you know that. Well, so sure. one half times base times height. So it's nine four 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 three. Four day, four day. Let's go step by step so everybody can follow. Uh, so I know. Now, so you do one over two times four. I don't want to put time. I like that better. The dots, the times, they are all correct. All right? There you go. Oh, this looks awesome. That's the one. So, okay, what do I put there? Guys, you go for it. So, four. Then what? Three. Uh huh. And then three. And then zero. I got six. And then now, multiply. What do you get? Everybody do it, please. I just don't want to hear from this one person. Everybody do it. All right. Brandon, you have it? I'll wait. Zuri, do you have it? Six. All right. So now, multiply this one. Six. 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 Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get to it. I just, that's why I'm trying to get everybody back to it. All right. Now, you have the area of the square. You have the area of the triangle. Now, he said find the area of the shaded region. So how do you find the area of the shaded region? And that's what they gave you. Then. The big shape minus the little shape will give you the shaded region. So all you have to do is take the, take the 64 minus oh, all the blame. Oh, that's blame. That was so easy. And that's what I keep telling you. The moment I do it, I take the fun away from it. But if you guys were able to figure it out, imagine how good you will feel right now. And, and thank you for trying and keep, keep going, even though I said no to you. Like, Ten times, you kept trying. I like that. That's perseverance. All right. So when we subtract, what do we get? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. And that's the area of the shaded region. So fifty-eight units squared. All right. Now, take two. Let's work on number two, please. No, I don't think we have even five. But we're gonna continue. It's gonna continue into the next period. Yeah, we're going to continue with four. Let's work, guys. Let's get it done. What the fuck? I have no idea. Two minutes, all right. Take two minutes. See, I'm a magician. You see how I put two minutes down? Take a two minute break, okay? Mr. C, did you see that? Look, I'm going to get this. Okay, I'm going to get this. 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 I'
good. So you guys are getting the excitement of the lesson, right? That's awesome. Now, go ahead and pass it to the front. Um, listen up. On your way out, please return the pencil. Alright? Let's go.